So, I have a little surprise for you guys. Okay, so that's not our dog, but he's pretty cute. He's my cousin's dog, and he's such a baby. Um, anyways, so have you been feeling stiff or tight and quarantine and all the sedentary behavior hasn't been helping? And now it's super nice out and you want to get running right away? And you're stiff and tight all over, but you want to get out there, get fit, get that summer bod, and try to run again. Whether you are an avid runner or just beginning and you're more of a recreational runner, that's okay. I still have the solution for you. Before we get into the warm-up itself, I want to talk about the common injuries that runners face, whether you're an expert or you're just starting out. The reason I want to go through this is because then my warm-up will make more sense as to the purpose for every single exercise in the runner's warm-up that I've created. Most common injuries are shin splints, calf tightness, plantar fasciitis or general foot pain, hip tightness, knee pain, especially in the front, just underneath the patella. So these injuries typically occur in runners due to a lack of big toe mobility, a lack of ankle dorsiflexion or ankle mobility, a pain in the feet, as in there's not enough strength or they're very dependent on the thicker shoes that they use to run or train in. And essentially what happens when there's pain in the feet or when plantar fasciitis occurs, typically not every single person obviously, but typically it's because the brain and your feet are not talking properly and they're essentially kind of not like they're kind of numb in the sense that they're so dependent on the they're so dependent on the cushion of the shoes or the shape and form of your orthotics or whatever you're using that your feet are more prone to get injured or hurt after a run because of that lack of communication or proprioception from your brain. So typically it's a lot of a lack of hip mobility because you do need a lot of hip flexion for sure when you're running and hip flexors are typically tight when you're sitting all day or you're at a desk job and typically no one really uses or understands how to strengthen or mobilize the hip flexors and that's a huge part of running. Not only that, there's going to be a lot of lumbar spine stiffness and that can cause your hips to get tight as well and also it'll really affect your single leg stance because running is actually a single leg sport, believe it or not. And of course, if you don't have the core strength to keep up or stay strong, then other injuries will occur and with running you need a lot of core strength. And lastly, you need to warm up properly. So let's get into the warm up right now. Forward lunges with a dorsiflexion emphasis and hold. So you wanna really keep pushing that knee forward every time you lunge and keep your torso upright and straight, keeping it square forward as well. Now we have the lateral lunges. Here, I want you to push your butt back, keep your chest and hip squares forward. Transfer all of your weight towards the leg that you are stepping with, and then push off of that leg as well. Here, I need you to overemphasize the hinge pattern, so keeping your spine at neutral, high knees, drive your knees up, opposite arm and opposite leg. Try to stay up on your toes. Reverse lunge to high knee explosive drive. Keep that front knee out and don't let it cave in. Opposite arm and opposite leg, drive knee forward and up. This has to be very explosive, and when you land, make sure you're landing with control. Now, we're gonna walk on our toes. On the balls of your feet, and 
do a marching motion. The biggest thing here is that big toe extension and adding load to that. Walking on heels. Add weight to the dorsiflexion or the ankle mobility that we did earlier for the first exercise and try to keep that chest up and toes up towards your shins. Glute activation walks. Essentially, it's a funny way of walking. And then go into hip extension by squeezing your glute first. I will link this down below in the description. I do have a video that goes deeper into this if you are interested.